My name is Mina Abdel Malak and I'm a Philos Project Fellow. Um, I was born and raised in Cairo, Egypt, to a very conservative Coptic family. And all my life, there was a very specific path for me to follow, uh, which is to be trained to work in the family business. I adjust myself to this path until I've come across this videotape of uh, um, a massacre that took place in South Egypt. That massacre resulted in the killing of um, around 20-something Coptic uh, women, men, children. And watching this video was kind of, I would say that then it was like an eye-opening for me. It, it changed my life. Uh, I could not unseen what I've seen. Um, and it put everything in, into perspective to me. I realized at this point that this chain of persecution, it can develop into something bigger and something more dangerous. Um, and I felt that I have to be part of the solution. I felt like I, uh, I have this moral obligation to, to do something. And uh, I knew at this point that I've, I've got to do something about it. In the Middle East, you, are, you have to choose between either a military dictatorship or uh, Islamism or Islamic totalitarianism. And uh, that's, that, that reflects in that the most active groups in the Middle East are the Muslim Brotherhood and other Islamists. An organization like the Fidos Project, uh, trying to kind of change that game and, and that cycle, adding new ideas uh, on the table, and I think that can change, uh, that can change the Middle East uh, in the long term. Cops, they are not, they are not seeking to build a different uh, state within Egypt. Uh, all what we are seeking is just equality. We want to be treated equal, we want to be, as we are paying taxes to, to the Egyptian government, we want to feel that we are being protected, our church is being protected, uh, our girls when they are kidnapped that they can return home, um, the mob attacks when they attack Coptic villages that those people will be brought to justice. So my work with Philos is to create this leadership, Coptic leadership, secular leadership, that can actually take this work uh, and, and deal with the government. And so that long-term goal to create this, this leadership, uh, it's, it's a job that I cannot do it on my own. So I needed a team, and I was very fortunate to, to meet Rob and, and to be with Philos, to such a committed and, and a very passionate team for this work. I think for anybody who understands how critical uh, the Middle East, the situation in the Middle East is, and how, and for everybody understand that the Middle East actually affects the, the, the peace and the security of the world. Engaging with organizations like the Philos Project can be something very helpful. Every incident in history, whether it was genocide, uh, mass atrocities, um, it happened because majority of good people did nothing. I think uh, anybody who cares and realizes the importance of the security of the Middle East, I think they have to or they should engage with the Philos Project.